Good morning, it's July 2nd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton, and that's Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, we're uh, just, as we're filming this on Friday morning, just a little over an hour past the big uh, July employment report. Uh, for the first time in several months, it beat expectations with about 850,000 new jobs created last month. Uh, but the markets haven't responded particularly. Uh, you know, Part of that may be because we're going into the holiday weekend. Uh, let's take a step back and uh, why don't you share what you saw in the markets uh, leading up to this point through the week. Yeah, it feels like everybody's uh, getting the grills warmed up for uh, for the long weekend uh, this morning. But uh, but overall, this week, you know, uh, Treasury market was uh, was definitely firmer uh, week over week after last Friday's sell off. Uh, the ten year was up about you know around nine basis points or so, um, and a big part of that was you know maybe some short covering on Monday after Friday's sell off, uh, and then some month and quarter end uh, duration extension, uh, you know, just kind of kept, uh, kept treasuries range bound with a, uh, with a fairly firmer tone. Uh, so, you know, for the majority of the week, the 10 year bounced around between, you know, 145, 147 type range. Um, and, uh, and this morning's payroll number, uh, you know, really didn't impact that. So I think uh, as we're as we're recording this, it's hovering right around a 144, 145. So overall, uh, firmer tone, you know, lower by about nine basis points week over week. Um, and munis uh, ahead of a holiday week uh, without much supply to speak of, uh, kind of just traded sideways. Uh, so we didn't uh, did, didn't feel like we totally kept pace. We'll see what happens today. Uh, but Monday, Tuesday, munis really kind of just treaded water. Um, without much direction uh, from the new issue market. Uh, this week's supply really kind of was concentrated Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe a little into Thursday, um, but we ended up with about seven and a half billion in supply, uh, which was pretty manageable considering uh, July one coupon uh, maturities and, and, and interest payments, um, uh, as well as uh, another week of positive fund flows. Uh, so. You know, really not much to write home about ahead of the holiday week. Um, we underperformed a little bit, uh, you know, maybe catching up a little bit, uh, two or three basis points uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, but overall, uh, the muni market was uh, was pretty quiet. Uh, again, you know, uh, seven and a half billion priced. Uh, BAM had a pretty active week. Uh, we priced over 225 million in new issues. Uh, some of that uh, activity was led by a $36 million sale for Wright State University, uh, which was a negotiated sale priced by JP Morgan. Uh, and then in the competitive market, uh, we were selected on $35 million uh, East Rutherford Board of Ed, uh, which was purchased by R.W. Baird, as well as a $31 million deal for Marion School District, uh, also bought by R.W. Baird. As we look ahead to the rest of the summer, I mean, there's some indications that we may stay in this range for a while. A lot of people are saying that they don't think you're going to have a real read on the health of the economy and the potential for inflation until September uh, when people get back in school and you get some uh, reads. And in fact, you know, there was some conflicting data this morning. The payrolls report, as we said, from the establishment survey where they talked to employers was above expectations, but the unemployment rate where you talk to individuals was also above expectations, which uh, so kind of a contrasting uh, view on the economy. So it may take a few more months to, to sort out what's really going on. Um, in the short term, what uh, what do you think's on the on tap for next week? Only four days of uh, active trading. <laughs> yeah, not much, uh, not much next week. Um, but uh, you know, just real quickly, I think you're right. You know, and and a big part of uh, what we'll see play out over the next couple of weeks and months is uh, is you know uh, what you know the expiration of uh, of uh, unemployment benefits. So the the unemployment rate this morning. You know, maybe is the sign of people starting to come back to uh, is starting to come back to looking for jobs, um, and you know that may accelerate in September. Um, you know, so so we'll see it. But I, th I think you're right. Um, I think the summer could, you know, could be a little bit more range bound than um, than people are really uh, hoping for. Uh, I think the market is kind of waiting for something to break out one way or the other, um, with uh, with an extreme bias probably towards higher rates at some point. Um, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how long it takes for us to get there. Uh, but uh, but certainly don't think it's going to happen next week. Um, you know, a holiday shortened week with the holiday on Monday uh, observed. Um, uh, supply should be right around four, four and a half billion for the muni market, and that's really concentrated. Uh, about half of next week's supply is really in two deals for uh, um, Q3 
Cal State University is almost two billion, uh, and then uh, Georgia MEAC has uh, has a couple hundred million selling. Uh, so really, you know, very light activity. Competitive market is, uh, I believe, under nine hundred million, um, and uh, and the negotiated is uh, is right around uh, three three point two billion or so. So. Um, you know, fairly light. Um, next week for BAM, our, our activity is going to be highlighted by, uh, by a $38 million sale uh, for Upper Darby School District in Pennsylvania, uh, which is going to be priced by RBC. Uh, and then we'll see, uh, you know, we'll see what other, uh, what other deals roll in. Great. Well, thanks uh, for your insights and uh, have a great weekend. Thanks, Mike. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 